Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the last episode in our locomotion series. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to show you how to add the turn your uh, curves to your animations, your custom animations. Let me just find a function here. I believe it's called process turn your curve. Yeah, so we're going to add these two curves, turn your weight and remaining turn your. So uh, for the remaining turn your, we're going to copy the name and how we're going to add this to our custom animations. So I'm simply going to show you this uh, on the already imported animation for the uh, library animations. So as you can see, it has a value moving from left to right, so high to its lowest value. So how to add this? Now you can do it this way by selecting all of your turn and place animations, right click, add to animation modifiers and add a new modifier. Now you'll add the motion extractor modifier, select it, and we want to set the motion type to rotation. And this is how you extract the rotation on what axis, the Z axis. Uh, we need to give it a name because, because the name needs to match the exact name specified in your animation blueprint. So you use custom curve name and we're going to set the name to be remaining turn your. Now, since I already have this added, I'm just going to give it a default name like rotation, rotation name, you know, uh, really doesn't matter. Um, the last thing you'll need to do here is add a mat operation of type multiplication and set the modifier to minus one. And if I hit apply and I open it up right now, you can see it has the exact same matching curve. Now how to create the turn your weight curve. Now, this is really easy as well. You can simply uh, click right here, add a curve and select create curve and give it the specifying name. Again, I'm not going to give it the same name. So, so yeah, uh, so let's say your weight, I'm just going to give it that. So as you can see, it's flat. So how this works is we check where the animation curve, the turn your, the re remaining turn your curve is being zeroed out. So as you can see, if I open this one up, it's running somewhere around here and when it hits 30 this is the end of that curve so how to add as, a, as you can see the the uh this little marker here is exactly where we need it to be or a little bit to the left where really it doesn't matter that much so if i open this one up now i need to hit the, the middle mouse button to add a curve uh key, key frame and right here i'll add another one I'm going to set it to 1, not 1, leave it where it is, so 1.0.33 and set this value to 1 as well. Uh, let's see, okay, so it's moving in the opposite direction, so this one needs to be 1 and 1, and this one needs to be this value and 0. So that's how you add a turn. Uh, turn your weight curve to your animations. And that is all you need to process the turn in place for your custom animations. So yeah guys, again this is the final episode in our locomotion series. Um, if you would like to add like features like jumping and all of that good stuff, you can find the Patreon project. The link will be in the description. It, ha it holds all the data for the distance matching jumps and all that good stuff. And um, from here on out, we're going to be working on our third-person shooter series. So yeah, so keep keep uh, keep yourself updated. I will be notifying all of my members on my Discord server, and that's it. So uh, yeah, guys, see ya.